Hello everyone, my name is Droogy Forever, and today we're playing The Outer Worlds. This is a game I've been looking forward to for quite some time, because it's made by the Fallout New Vegas devs. And I just went through, created my character and everything, and then my mic was off apparently through the entire thing, so now I have to do it again! Fantastic! Yeah. No idea how my mic got turned off. I've never physically turned it off in my life, but that's happened like four times. Despite the fact that I've never hit that button. Never. And it's a slide button, so you actually have to... You know, it can't just... It's not a... It's not a push button. So it's not like I can accidentally hit it. You don't just accidentally slide it into place, because it locks into place, sort of. Oh, and I love that uh, pamphlet back there. Super funny. Read it if you get a chance. Just rewind and read that one pamphlet with the asterisk next to it. Super funny. It says something about, like, guaranteed jobs, and then the asterisk said jobs aren't guaranteed or something. <laughs> oh, I loved it. It's going to be great. This game's going to be great. We've seen him in the ads for the game. Oh! Phineas Vernon Wells, fugitive, wanted by Halicon Holdings Board for crimes against the colony. You are wanted for crimes against the colony. Please stay right there, and a robot will be around to collect you. Hundreds of thousands of colonists left to drift out here forever just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line. Disgraceful. 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 All right, uh, I think this was on high, and then I had, like, good for, like, everything but temperament, I think. Or wait, no. Was this on high? Critical was definitely good. This seems right. I think this was it. I don't know. That seems right. And then range and in need of more game hunters. dialogue. Next. And then we'll do science. Well, you are technically assisting me. All right. Face was her, I think. Skin tone was... Uh, this one. Eye color was... Was it green? It wasn't that one. Might have been this one. Uh, and then I had her nose smaller, I think. And then hair was... Oh wait, I need to do color first. Crap, I don't remember which one it was. It was one of these. It was like a bright red. Might be this one. Hairstyle, I think, was... Was it this one? No, this... This hair is not bright enough. It was like bright red. Maybe it's number four. Or five. Maybe it's number five. Uh, and then I aged her a little bit. Give her some character. Yeah, the black eyes, no dirt. Scars, where do, what do they look like? I never tried scars last time, so I'm just curious. Alright, that's fine. And then her name is Droogie. That's right. Alright, we're good. 
And this time I can tell my mic's on, so we're good. For real this time. <clears throat> your lucky day, my friend. <laughs> oh boy. Initiate skip jump. Skip jump. Nope. Skip, skip, skip to my loo. Skip, skip, skip to my loo. Skip, skip, skip to my loo. Skip, 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 we made it to the Stargate, though. Sorry, the mouse keeps, like, just appearing on screen there. I can't get it to stay off screen, and it won't click into the game, so it's just constantly ah, in the way. There you are, wondering what's going on, eh? A bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means that you and every other colonist on Alp have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. Normally, <laughs> reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction. Something wrong? Oh, yes, well, <laughs> not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Hopefully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see, yes? Unfortunately, I used the last of my chemical supplies saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. Now, my ship is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck! Oh, uh, okay. Huh. <laughs> All right. Remember the hope. Okay, Conan O'Brien, Donald Trump mixture guy. Can you hear me? Is this thing working? Ah, there you are. Now, uh, where were Is this ever going to click into the game? His name is Hawthorne, and he should be waiting for you at the landing site. He's to be your uh, chauffeur, so to speak. Not to worry, I'm told he's a specialist. Dashing, gunslinger, one of a kind ship, that sort of thing. You'll like it. I can't control I my view or anything, so it, the mouse still isn't actually in the game. I can drag it onto my left monitor, so. As you land. Good luck. I'm. All the colonists are counting on you. Oh, whoa, frame rate. Oh, you Jeez. landed good. Hawthorne should be close by. What in law's name? Is that him? Oh, that idiot. I told him to plant the beacon and move away, not stand there holding it. Okay, well, it actually did no let me... No sense in letting his ship go to waste. Hawthorne won't mind you taking his ship. Better you than the board, huh? What are these? Not sure I trusted the fellow. Might have gone after the bounty on my head. Shame about the whole squashing thing. Nasty way to go. Can I pick these up? They're really weird looking. Hi! What are you doing? Hello! Hi, can we talk? I'm Drogate. I want to introduce myself. Hey, come and talk to me.
None of you guys want to talk. I want to talk to you. You're a new cute species. Must put you in a hipster cage. <laughs> they don't want anything to do with me. Come here, little guy. Come here. Crouch to sneak and avoid detection. Am I supposed to be avoiding detection? What's this? Oh, there's people over there. All right. That's all he had. Tall grass, rocks, or other cover. That. Easy now. You've been frozen for a while. There's bound to be unforeseen side effects. Oh! Okay. Was that supposed to happen or was I supposed to not do that? I'm hey, supposed to... Come here. Okay, hold on. Let me look through your stuff. You've tried the best now. Okay. Now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, law, that stings. Uh... <sighs> Looks like the bleeding stopped. I owe you one. Hope you don't mind me omitting this little exchange for my report. Spacer's Choice doesn't like us accepting outside help. We were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take him. Then my gun misfired. Right through my sight. I mean, what are the odds of that, right? Just barely scraped by with my life. Crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. What were you doing Investigating out here? Investigating an illegally grounded ship. All spacecraft must arrive and depart from authorized landing pads. That's board law, that is. Some hull had grounded their spacecraft out in the open. That's a real good way to attract marauders. See those canisters by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here, and I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, okay. You look like you know your way around a gun. Got some spare ammo. Not counting the bullet in my side. Here, you can have my saber too, for patching me up and all. All Spacer's Choice weapons are now 30% less likely to malfunction. You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's Choice. Yes, nailed it that time. You hit your head or something? You're in Emerald Vale. We're a Spacer's Choice community. Edgewater's a little ways down. Uh, prettiest place in the Vale. Uh, be sure to stop by a provisioner's for a can of our famous salt tuna. The Hope? Is that some sort of fancy new drug? Are you with Auntie Cleo or something? Don't take this the wrong way or nothing, but I'm not allowed to fraternize with Cleo workers. Company policy. And I'm off. So I need to shoot those. Okay, is there anything else here that's useful? What's that? Ooh. I take all those. What else you got? He's got more stuff in there, but I need to get to it. Yeah, I'll take all your supplies. What are you going to do about that? I got your gun. Now I'm taking your stuff. Whoosh! Whoa! 
Hibernation complications detected. Tactical time dilation. Due to complications stemming from being revived after an extended hibernation, your brain processes time differently. Pressing the tactical time dilation button slows down the world, giving you time to think as well as take action. You have a limited time in this mode. Standing still drains your TTD meter very slowly, while moving in attacks drain it faster. The TTD meter refreshes slowly over time. Alright, press Q to slow down time, basically. Yeah, okay. Oh, well, he looked like he uh, wasn't going to cause me no trouble after he put his hands up and I just kind of killed him. <laughs> oh, well. Banunas, I got banunas. Hacking and picking locks. Your hacking and lockpick skills help you get into places you're not meant to be. Magpicks are used to break open locks, and bypass shunts are used to break computer encryptions. If your skill is high enough to break the security, you will see how many magpicks or shunts you need and how long it will take. Raising your skill will lower the number of items used and speed up the process. Hmm. Telescoping staff. You have found a new weapon. The weapon switch button allows you to rotate between the weapons you have equipped on the inventory screen. Well, I apparently don't have any. Whoops. Whoa. Weapon management. You can have up to four weapons equipped at a time. Take care of your weapons and they'll take care of your enemies. 54 damage, 73 damage, 100 damage. So these kind of suck, but we'll put them in there. All right, Hawthorne ships down there. What's over here, though? Ooh, there's more enemies. Enemies. No more explosives this time, though. Plink, right in the head. Crap. All right. Taking some heat, but it's fine. Okay. Now I need to figure out how to heal, because... Did I take all this stuff? Okay, I guess so. Alright, uh, how do I heal? I don't remember what the button was. Armor management. What's this? A helmet. Can I wear a helmet? I can. But it covers up my sexy face. Consumables. How do I use a consumable? Emergency medical inhaler. Ten uses. Yeah, but how do I use that? Uh, What, what button was it? I don't remember. Alright. First save game. Key bindings. Gameplay, use, reload, attack, aim, inhaler. F. Alright, F. Okay, that's fine. Whoa, frame rate again. I turned the settings pretty far down so that uh, I wouldn't have any issues with this game, but it seems like I'm having issues anyway. Hey, get over here before you get yourself killed. What are you talking about? Don't know where you came from, stranger, but you best keep your head down. There's marauders hereabouts, and worse, landing violators. Gall on that rung leech. Landing in the veil without using an official spacer's choice landing pad. 
I'd slap him with a fine if it weren't for all these marauders shambling about. Really? How is he? <clears throat> <laughs> uh, I'm not supposed to say I helped him though, so if I say this one, oh boy, I don't know. Oh boy, uh. Shouldn't have done that. Oh boy. Space's choice yep. family ain't authorized to receive medical aid from off brand physicians. We'll see him back to Edgewater just as soon as I cross these marauders off with a swift, cost efficient fury that's made Space's choice the most trusted brand in personal defense. I just, you know. Need a couple of winks to catch my breath. Stretch my legs, son. Mm. Well, sometimes. Management's real good at cost-benefit analysis. But, seeing as I'm the acting manager in this situation, you know what? You're right. It's time we cross those marauders off, find whoever owns that ship, and file a full report. Then it's gonna be fucking laminated. Here we go. Damn it! Stop running! Coward! Ah, come on! I thought I hit reload right before I walked over here. That's bullshit. I could swear I hit reload right before walking over there. That kind of pisses me off. I'm pretty sure I did. Alright, where are the two idiots that got killed? There they are. What do you got? Light assault rifle. Really? Really, really, really? Yeah. Alright, we're gonna put that second, that third, and that fourth. And then, oh, thought I got some armor too, but that's fine. That's fine. What was that? Rebuilt mining gear. Three armor, four armor. Light stealth skills plus five. Light tech skills plus five. Hmm. I don't know how to repair things yet. Did I search this guy? I guess I did. Okay, should I look at anything else around here? What's up there? I don't know if I'm supposed to look at anything else. Probably not. Shovel? What's a shovel for? Okay, these guys got killed, I guess, by the Marauders? What's a shovel for? Does it tell me? Oh, is it just a weapon? It is. Okay. Thought maybe we could actually dig with it. Find some treasure out here. What is that? There's enemies up there. Alright, let's just get on the ship and continue the story. I always get sidetracked in RPGs. That's why I don't play them that long. Because I, I end up uh, just trying to do everything. And you can't do that. Please be informed that this vessel contains no valuable plunder. Marauder, please be informed that ignoring me is dangerous for your health. Unauthorized access of spacefaring vessels is a crime. Please submit yourself to the authority. Hello, Marauder. I am Ada, the autonomous digital astrogator of this vessel. Please be informed that I am authorized to use violent retribution against unwanted solicitors. Please return any misappropriated equipment. 
and exit this vessel in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so will result in your immediate destruction. Jetstone procedures initiated. Disengage your airlocks. Prepare to reject all boarding parties in five, four, three, two, one. We're on the planet. <laughs> you are still here. My deception protocols have failed. I have been programmed to express disappointment. This vessel is the registered property of Captain Alex Hawthorne. I am incapable of accepting orders from anyone other than Captain Alex Hawthorne. I understand. I will require some time to process this information. Thank you for your patience and for your honesty. I am programmed to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. If I accept your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? <laughs> well done, Captain Hawthorne. Oh my god. The powers of deductive reasoning remain intact. Wow. Unfortunately, our engine is currently inoperable. Our main drive suffered a critical power failure, and we were forced to make an emergency landing. The main drive's power regulator has been irreparably damaged, and must be replaced. Uh, where am I supposed to find something like that? Wait, do I have Engineering 5? Astutely observed. However, the probability of locating a power regulator within a worker settlement falls within acceptable parameters of certainty. High-capacity power regulators are sometimes employed in the electrical networks of worker settlements. I have taken the liberty of printing you a new captain's identity cartridge. Please try not to lose it this time. <laughs> this cartridge identifies you, Alex Hawthorne, as the registered proprietor and captain of the Unreliable. Do you understand? Best of luck in your search for a power regulator. Try to stay alive this time. I leveled up. Spending a skill point on a core score core skill improves all the specialized skill in that group up to a maximum of 50. After 50, you can add points directly to specialized skills up to 100. Every skill improves as it grows, but special unlock bonuses occur every 20 points. Read each description. All right. You've been promoted. Level up. Congratulations. You have gained enough experience to go up a level. Open your character ledger to advance your character. Leveling up increases your health points. Gives you points to upgrade your skills as well as gives you access to a new perk every other level. Keep leveling and you'll be upper management material in no time. All right. So I have, wait, 10 points? What? All right, hold on. Let's look at perks first. You get a new perk every two levels. All right, so let's see. 50% base health, minus 20 vendor prices, 50% XP from companion kills, tactical time dilation meter, damage when alone, fast travel when encumbered, walk speed, sprint speed, carrying capacity, Ammo and armor durability loss, companion critical chance, base armor rating. I kind of want the carrying capacity. Um, yeah, I'm going to take that. Wait, what? Yeah, okay. Oh, uh, apply. Skills. Okay, so what do I do now? I have 10 points. Okay, so then I apply it. I see. Uh, dodge and block. But what is... I don't even know what the dodge button is yet. Stealth. Each point in stealth increases sneak hack and lockpick. Oh, yeah, we definitely need to put some points in that. Uh, what's determination? Companion health. All right. We're going to put a point there. Put a point there. I'm going to bring that up to 25. 
Bring that up to 20. Now I got four points left. We're going to put it in here. Well, at least two. Engineering, do, 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 sneak, persuade, lie. Uh, one there and one there. All right. Apply. Yes. Location hit effects. Hitting enemies in different locations maims or cripples those body parts. Huh. All right. Dialogue combat skill. When attacking the correct type of target, they are automatically debilitated. Interesting. Okay. And then what's in my journal? Stranger in a strange land. Okay. And then, oh, and we need to save it real quick so I don't, uh, you know, screw up or anything. All right. I don't have enough to unlock that. And this one's empty. Is there anything else good on this ship before I go outside? Is she gonna yell at me if, if I your steal stuff? Is in need of repair or modification. The Crux 2000 workbench is at your disposal, Captain. Ooh, sawed off shotgun? Weapon parts? It said something's at minimum effectiveness. What does it mean? Which one? Is it this one? 5%. How do I fix it? Repair. 85%. 85%. How do I repair it? It doesn't tell me how to repair it. I can repair this, but I can't repair this. Oh, because I don't have enough weapon parts to repair it. Damn, it's going to take seven to repair the pistol? All right, so I need some more weapon parts so I can repair that rifle. And I'm going to leave that toss ball stick there because I don't think I really need that. I go up here. Let's see if we can find some more parts. Because that would be awesome. Want to be a brand new you? Try out our respecification machine. No, I don't need Alex that. Alex installed it himself. Right before he died. If you possess a power regulator, please insert the part into the appropriate slot, which is this one. I don't. Hey, I got a soda or something. I don't know. I didn't read it. Saw tuna fillets. What else we got here? Anything? Anything good? Anything? Huh? 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 What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? Give me stuff. I like stuff. Give me stuff. These are the crew's quarters. Alex preferred to travel alone, but he always had me. Due to catastrophic power failure, all doors will remain on security lockdown. All right, so I'll be with you, hey. man. I'm Ernie from the Spacer's Choice Department of Human Resources. Town sent me hereabouts to check on the guards. Now, it seems to me. And correct me if I'm wrong here, but seems to me they're all dead. <laughs> Mind telling me what happened here? <laughs> the guards accidentally brutally shot themselves while on patrol. An altercation, you say? Yeah, shame as that goes. Spacer's Choice policy strictly prohibits dying during work hours. <laughs> I'd better get to cleaning up. Can't just leave company property scattered about, bleeding out on the dirt. Then who died? Oh, <laughs> right. Yeah, well, we uh, we do need all the hands we got. What with folks in Edgewater dropping off like sissy pig tumors. Well, it's competition, though, come promoting time. <laughs> you don't want to amble on over to Edgewater at your earliest convenience. Constable's office might have work for someone with your, uh, let's just say, aggressive disposition. 
Oh, and uh, be sure to stop by the Edgewater Provisioner for a can of salt tuna. It's not the best choice, it's Spacer's choice. Okay. Anyway. So, I'm not going that way. I ex expected it was going to send me up that way. So, I wonder what all is around here. I kind of want to look around a little bit. Look at this. Old wreckage discovered. Oh god. Primal Hunter. Oh boy. I didn't know he could do that. Whoa. Oh god, he disappeared. Holy crap! These guys are tough! I'm gonna have to go into town because I need some bullets. Oh, okay, I got a little bit more. Got a couple more bullets. I hear more of them though. Anything good in here? I don't see anything. Not yet, anyway. What's that? Primal Brute. There's a Primal Brute over there. Trip Blade. Anything in there? Nope. Ooh. Ooh, there we go. Weapon Mod. Install it at the workbench. Okay. He's a behemoth. I don't know if that's a good idea to attack that thing. I'm thinking probably not. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, three. Holy shit. Okay. Didn't know there were that many. Okay. Hmm. Alright, you know what? We're gonna, uh... We're gonna just go to town. We'll come back here when we have more and better stuff. Yeah, let's just go to town find some trader. Oh boy, here we go. Hmm. You hiding? Whoa! Get back! Whoa! Fucker! Where'd he go? Damn it. Alright, how did I... Nope, wrong button. F. Alright, how much weight do I have? Inventory, item repair... Yeah, I know. I know I can repair stuff at the workbench, but I don't know. All right, what's the total amount of weight I can carry? And what's the total amount that I have? 41 out of 70. Okay, this pistol is in 64% condition, and all of these pistols are the same, so I'm going to go ahead and swap that out with one of these. This one, 5%, 100%. 
Oh, that one's 100%. Okay, so I can use it now. Good. 44, 73, 73, 54. All right, so we're using the best parts. And I can use this uh, assault rifle if I need to. What's up here? Anything? It's such a weird rock formation. I thought maybe there was something up here. Oh boy. More marauders down there. Yeah, we definitely need to get into town and get some more bullets. I need lots more bullets. What is this thing? I don't know. Oh, hey. Where'd you come from? Where'd you come from? Don't go ambling out in those hills. That's marauder territory, friend. Ain't safe out here. You'd best head into town. Avail yourself of Edgewater's high walls and low, low prices. Pleased to make your acquaintanceship. I'd shake your hand, but I've been hauling corpses. You don't want none of that on you. Name's Silas. Junior in humor for the town of Edgewater. We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family. Definitely not the junior in humor, that's for sure. If you've got business inquiries, you should stop by Reed Thompson's office. He's up in the tower above the cannery. Head into town, follow the road. Look, you obviously ain't a worker. W what's your racket? You a smuggler? Freelancer? Edgewater is a company town, board owned and operated. That includes the cemetery. None of us own our grave sites. We rent them from the company. Oh boy. Renting means money. Money means paperwork. Paperwork means signatures. Some of our families become a mite delinquent in paying their dues, you see. Hmm. Four workers still haven't paid up. Phyllis, Conrad, Ludwig, and Martin Abernathy. He's a special case. You may want to twist his arm a little. Conrad's got a barber shop in town. Phyllis works at the cannery most hours. Abernathy, I ain't seen him in a few days. His domicile is near the cannery. You'll find him in town. All except Ludwig, that is. He's over by the landing pad. Transition to Edgewater. I'm ready to transition. Let's -a go. Oh. Buying and selling from a vendor, your best dialogue skill is automatically used to negotiate your best price. Awesome! Dude, that's pretty cool. Oh yeah, how do I put away my weapons? Look up, look down, use, interact, reload, holster, hold R. There we go. Alright. Is there a store in here somewhere? Almost lost a finger in it. Maintenance division. 
workbench. Oh, I don't have enough. I don't have any armor parts. I don't have enough for that. All right, modify. What kind of mods do I have? Oh, I don't. I thought it said I had one. Did it not say that I had a mod? Wait. Oops. No, no, no. Install mod. Why does it only list magazines? Is there a way to get to the others? Tax. I don't know. Oh, I can break down stuff for parts. Oh, dude, that's pretty cool. There, now I can repair more stuff. Yeah, repair that shotgun. Alright, I don't know how to install a mod, and I guess it's not. What's this? Welcome. There are currently three open trouble tickets. Trouble ticket one. Uh, Thompson. Turn on engine, try it again, kick the loader, curse injured toes. Nice. Priority. Failure of main cannery production line and heat processing. Damn mechanicals. Interesting. Got a bypass shunt. I doubt I'm allowed to be in these places. Ah, I can't open that. I don't have enough parts or whatever. Search Indumati reassigned to Terra. Uh, okay. I don't know why I'm looking around this place. Bypass shunt. Ooh, outside. What's that? Get cartridge. Restroom, but not much in it. I guess I'm going in the cannery. I really want to buy some bullets. Is there a place to buy bullets here? Is there a store? I don't know. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Oh god. 
their cameras? Did it see me? I did not mean to steal that. Whoa, what's going on? It's stuck on my screen. Make a new save. Oh god, it's still on my screen. Okay, alright, now it's gone. Wait. Why is it saying... Vending machines, okay. What kind of bullets does this gun take? I have no idea. What are these? Light ammo, heavy ammo, energy cells. It's probably light ammo, right? I have 82 light ammo. Yep, okay. So I need light ammo. Buy. How do I buy a bunch of these? Oh, I don't have enough for 50. I can buy 48 of them. Well, I'll buy like 25. That way I still have some money left. Oh, I can sell stuff too. What's this? Sell junk. Oh, I have to upgrade my hack skill to be able to sell to these. Uh, so what's my hack skill sitting at? It's sitting at 15, so I need to update it to 20. All right. New save. All right, guys. Unfortunately, I need to end this first episode here. I know we didn't get to uh, a massive boss battle or anything like that, but I promise the next video is going to be super long really really long it's gonna be like two hours so uh expect it right after this one i'm gonna do these one after the other so i hope you enjoyed it if you did tell that like button you want to smash and don't forget to subscribe you stay you i'll stay me droogie forever thank you everybody so much for watching i really appreciate it and i will see you in the next video later